Hi guys, it's uh, Keith from Aptrogy Games here. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this uh, video this evening, gents. I know you've been uh, posting on the Game Salad thread and also uh, looking at my ambiguous Twitter feed, uh, which has been eluding all day. Okay, uh, without wasting any time, okay, the reason I made this is a lot of people on the Game Salad forum were posting about this type of thing and also. Um, you know how to do it and that sort of stuff now there is some methods out there uh, that do do the same thing and some even better uh, which are being charged for you know you, you have to buy them okay this is in no way intended to uh, mess with anyone's sort of business model or, or anything like that this was purely made for the good and benefit of the game side of the community uh, and as such no malice or uh, business stealing was intended okay and it's certainly not my intent to do that. Okay, I just want to get some good quality code out uh, to the people. Uh, if you call my code good quality, that is, you know what I mean? Listen to me. Now, uh, as you can see on there, we've got splash screen for the OpenFlow. OpenFlow is an open source cover flow system for game salad. Okay, it was designed uh, entirely by me, however, with some guidance from a couple of the game salad members, uh, which want to be named nameless. Uh, as such that we really want to get a, a, an outstanding cover flow system into the hands of every single user okay uh, to use for free and it's absolutely free every update that I will work on as well will be free so uh, let me get around and show you so you can see now we're into the cover flow we've got a standard setup we've got a, a centered uh, button icon so to speak where you can take a screenshot of your level shrink it down and replace that uh, icon with the image okay that gives the players a good indication of what of what they're going to do uh, and an outstanding example of that is t-shirt booths mini cannon and I think that's really um, you know the perfected way of, of doing a cover flow it's certainly the way he's done it and obviously his template is uh, available on, on the form uh, underneath you can see I've got a, uh, a level with a, a star underneath that just tells the user what level it is or indeed the name of the level okay so for a game I've got coming up I could have that as I don't know uh, bongo bash or something silly as that you know what I mean so you've got the picture and the name now the cover flow works uh, rather smooth okay moving from left to right as you can see, it interplates the axes rather smoothly. It's got snap to grid on there. However, if you keep your finger down on screen, your finger will override the snap to grid, uh, allow you to uh, keep control of, uh, of the movement. And as you can see here, I've got seven buttons. So that's seven uh, uh, levels that you could go to. And obviously, you can keep adding and adding to this. You believe it or not, there's only four axes in the whole of the cover flow system. And actually, it's only two of them that do the business. The other two uh, are just there for sleekness, really. And I'll show you that in a bit. So we've got that there. So once we've uh, we've selected our level, and as you can see, uh, we're not using the normal uh, touch to uh, action motion. Because uh, otherwise, if I applied a touch method to that button, as soon as I even touched it to drag it, it would then move me on to level two or, or whatever level it would be. Okay, so the code knows that you're actually trying to drag it or when you're trying to press it. Okay, so I'm going to drag the code. Okay, I want to go on that level. I'm just going to touch it. Now it instantly take me to the blank scene that I've uh, made all the buttons point to, which is just scene one. Okay, so to get it back, I'm just going to do a refresh. See the splash again, and we and we're back in. Now. That alone, I think, is an outstanding freebie. However, you know, because you are the game seller community and you are outstanding, you know, uh, I feel that we should give you some more. So what I've done is I've pre-coded all of the uh, lock methods. So if I move it down now, you can see that current level 7 I'm on is open. So if I move it to current level 0, which means that we haven't completed any levels. In fact, you would never do that. You'd have it set to one. But now they're all coming up with a lock. And if I press them, they do nothing. 
Okay, and you can make it play a sound there, you know, like a eh, eh, or or something like that, or a lock sound. Okay, so they're all locked up to level seven. Likewise, if I come out and I quickly change that to, I don't know, level three. One to three is unlocked, four to seven's locked. Okay, just like that. Now, the normal method that I would use to do a, a lock is I would spawn an actor on top of the actor that had no touch method to, uh, to allow it. So when you press it, nothing happened unless an attribute told it to destroy. There's nothing in there going on, gents. Okay, it's all done by code. Okay, it's all done by code. There is no spawning or destroying of actors uh, on this at all, which obviously helps with streamlining it. The code is set up in such a way where you can literally just build upon it, add more levels, change the sizes, and it will uh, adjust everything for you. I've really tried to keep it as simple as I can because I know what I'm like when I'm trying to follow someone else's code. Uh, I can sometimes get a bit lost. You know, it doesn't take much on a soldier after all. Now, obviously, I've kept it this dimension for recording. I did a full screen cast. However, the, the size would have took me all year to upload. What I want to show you is that the layout. What we've got is, let me just swing that down, get rid of that. So what we've got is our level uh, actor. Okay, that's our main button. There's only one and it replicates throughout the uh, scene and I'll show you that. A controller actor, okay. This controller actor is the thing that's uh, the driving force behind the cover flow. There is no camera actor and there is no uh, dragger, okay, if you've seen any other uh, templates. Okay, there's no dragger it's all done by code we got our app background that actually does nothing so just swap that for your image or whatever you want okay the level name uh, actor so just change the image on that per um, button so you can have one two three four five or whatever you want and then that's just a splash icon there and as you can see the way the levels set up okay so the scene set up is uh, each buttons laid out in sequence okay now it doesn't matter where you plonk, plonk them on the uh, scene the code will uh, pull them all together and make it all fit okay so you'll get no overlapping or anything uh, if for instance you didn't want the level to be underneath just delete that actor from the scene the code will adjust it won't obviously source that uh, bit of code from the level name code uh, so you won't get any interplating of the levels but everything else will work absolutely perfect if you decide then on a later game you want it back, drag it back on and it's good to go. Just keep replacing obviously the images to suit whatever you want. So now if I go into uh, say our actor here, and I you know I do admit it's small for showing, what we've got is a set of rules, but I've sort of labelled every rule best I can. So this one says, uh, this lets you drag the level box, but does not let you change scene until you press it. Okay, so there's the funky code, and there's quite a lot of that going on to uh, to make that happen. Now, gents, as I've said before, this is free, absolutely free, and you're very welcome to it. Okay, I'm glad uh, to give something back to community. Okay, but because it is open uh, source code, my intent is uh, if the community takes it and adds to it or makes any improvements or new features please upload uh, the new version of the cover flow uh, to the community to use okay that's the reason why I've started it uh, and I like it it's you know to be some sort of evolution and that's the only caveat to to having this for free gents okay uh, obviously I've donated my time to start this off and I'm very happy to do that uh, but please uh, if you do make it better improve on it offer it up to people to have it for free okay uh, and you know that that's the way I think the game side community is a thriving outstanding community full of the most talented people I've ever spoke to um, you know and so, some of these young kids are so talented I want to get some good code into the hands of people um, and see how people expand on it because I'm sure you know people will take this code and make it far better than I have you know and I'd love to see the results or, and perhaps even use it so I hope you're psyched as I am, gents. Uh, 
if you haven't got uh, Utopians Project Merger, get that because that will make it so much simpler copying it into your game because otherwise it actually might be a bit hard. You'd have to copy everything, but you, you know you know what I mean. But I hope you're happy. If you do want, uh, want the Project Gents, just drop me an email at appchogi at live.com. In your email um, address bar, i.e. The, the, uh, the name that you put on the email, I forget what it's called, just put open flow. I've got it set up in such a way where the my computer will recognize that and email you the project back instantly. Okay, gents, so uh, enjoy it, please enjoy it, have fun with it, strip it down, play with it, build upon it, and send me a copy uh, of what you of what you've done, and hopefully uh, we we'll see some good stuff come of it. Uh, if you think it's absolute rubbish, uh, or you think I'm ripping you off. Um, I apologise, it's not my intent. This is purely for the good and benefit of the community. Uh, and it, as I said before, it's come from people uh, wanting, having a need for, for a cover flow system. Okay, gents, thank you very much and uh, have a good evening. Bye.